Now, I think it's a quote from Juice World that all girls are the same. And in this case, I highly do believe that. Because today's story is honestly something brutally insane. And I just want to say there is no way this actually ended up happening to me. And honestly, to this day, I'm actually sometimes still sad about it. But at the same time, what can I say? Sometime history repeats itself. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba. And welcome back to another insane story. So today's story takes place back when I was in high school. Now, back when I was in high school, I was a major gamer. And by major, I mean, I would enjoy playing video games because it was the only thing that actually brought happiness to my life. I think that's part of the reason why I'm still a YouTuber. But I remember back in high school, all I would majorly do is just play video games. And I'm not gonna lie, me also in high school was a major Devil's Tango addict. Like, no joke, I would always end up doing the Devil's Tango with a ton of different girls. So knowing this, sometimes girls would always want to try to get into a relationship with me. But me back in high school, and I guess even now, I'm not really the relationship type. It's just not for me. So I remember basically one time, I was playing video game and just enjoying chilling myself and I remember I ended up getting a snapchat from a girl that was in my school Now this girl was just a normal friend of mine and to be honest me and her we only talked once in a while It's not like we were actually like in any way like flirty or you know even thinking about doing the devil's tango But for some reason this girl on this day when I was playing call of duty for some reason decided to switch things up I remember she ended up snapping me her cherries and peaches and I don't know what happened I ended up messaging her in the chat as I swiped in saying yo did you mean to like send that to me? She ended up saying yes and she ended up basically confessing that she really liked me and that she wanted to see if things could go further. Now I found this awkward because yes I do sometimes friend zone girls. It's a very rare chance but sometimes if I really value a relationship or a friendship I should say I don't really just go for it because back in high school I had a golden rule where basically once I do them I don't do them again unless I really like them or I make sure there's no strings attached so I can just enjoy myself and I remember I ended up texting this girl saying yo listen and like i'm not trying to be in a relationship like you're hot and all and i would but like i'm just not really down for it right now and for her she did not take that excuse she ended up saying are you kidding me like why don't we just like do it like no strings attached okay like i'm down for that and ended up agreeing just to do the devil's tango so at that point i was like okay whatever she's cool with it and me and her we ended up basically planning a time to do it i remember the next day at school for some reason my friend ended up walking up to me saying yo bubba like are you actually gonna do her i ended up looking at my buddy thinking yo like Where'd you even hear this from? And he ended up explaining to me that apparently she was spreading the rumor that apparently me and her were basically getting together. Now, when I first heard the word getting together, I didn't think of a relationship getting together. I thought she was just spreading around that me and her were doing the Devil's Tango. And that's it. Because honestly, it wouldn't be the first time a girl decided to flex doing the Devil's Tango with me. So I thought that was the case. And I decided to say, oh yeah, like, you know, we are. And then basically me and my buddies, we ended up going to class. I remember we went to class though, I ended up getting Snapchats from the girl that was going to see me after school to do the Devil's Tango and ended up sending me heart emojis and basically, you know, acting like we were basically in a relationship. Like she even called me babe. Like who are you to call me babe when literally all I'm using you for is the Devil's Tango. So I remember I ended up texting her, hey, remember this was no strings attached. I'm not trying to do anything, you know, like it's just, it's just an activity. And she ended up basically saying, oh, like, yeah, 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 exactly. Like that's exactly what I meant. Okay, cool. Is what I said. And then I ended up going throughout my school day. Now, this is where the story kind of gets interesting. So I remember after school that day, me and her, we ended up getting in my car and we ended up driving over to my place. When we got to my place, my house was empty and me and her, we ended up doing the Devil's Tango. Like we just got straight to it. We didn't, you know, pause. We didn't stop or anything. We kind of just jumped straight into the gun. But then I remember as me and her were doing the Devil's Tango, you know, one thing led to another. We ended up laying down beside each other and she ended up saying three words to me that kind of freaked me out. She ended up saying, I I love you. Now, the I love you card is a really strong word. Don't get me wrong. I've said it a couple times to women and to this day, I regret it. But at the same time though, you never know. This I love you card is a big deal. Think about it. It's the thing that you say to your mother. It's the thing you say to your father. It's, it's literally the thing you say to someone that takes care of you and actually loves you. So if you're going around saying it to random people, first off, you're weird. But second, I remember when she said that to me as we were laying down, I panicked. I remember I looked at her and stood up and put on my pants and said, yo, you shouldn't really say that. Like I thought I told you no strings attached. She ended up feeling bad and she ended up turning her face red and she's like, oh, like, I'm sorry. Like I messed up. I didn't mean it that way. Right. Okay, cool. Is what I ended up saying afterwards. And then I remember I ended up basically just turning on my Xbox and decided to play video games as she was just laying in my bed, not wearing anything. I remember she got super confused and annoyed and she's like, um, why don't you just come to back to bed? Sorry. I'm, I'm just playing video games is what I said. And I ended up hopping on an Xbox party with the boys and started talking to them 
them through my headset. I remember at that point, this girl was mad. Like, she was actually upset. And I have no idea why. It was weird to me because, you know, what, I can't play video games with the boys? So I remember she ended up basically getting upset saying, oh, like, you're really just gonna leave me here? Yeah, is what I said. Because boys, let me give you a piece of advice. All girls want attention. All girls will always thrive for attention. So if you give them that attention, they will always expect more of it. But if you're smart, you will limit that. You will limit the basically attention they want. So they will always stick by your side and want more. Where did I learn this from? Well, all my years of doing the devil's tango. And still to this day. Sorry. Anyways, going on with the story, I remember she ended up getting upset and basically stood up and started getting her clothes on and said, okay, well, I'm just going to go home. All right, have fun. And she ended up basically going home and leaving as I was just sitting playing my Xbox. I remember the boys ended up hearing the conversation and how basically she got mad at me and ended up laughing over the mic saying, bro, there's no way you just did that. You're so based. Yeah, I guess I am, is what I said. And I ended up playing just video games afterwards. Anyways, afterwards, the next day at school, I remember I ended up going to school and the same girl that did the devil's tango ended up walking up to me in class and saying, oh, like you didn't text me back. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. I just didn't text you back. My bad. And I remember when I said that to her, she got really upset. She ended up saying, are you seriously just like ignoring me and choosing your video games over me? Like, who do you think you are? I ended up looking at her thinking, why are you bringing up my video games as we're in the middle of class? And basically one thing led to another. My teacher told us to take the outside and me and her, we basically started arguing outside. She ended up saying how, you know, I turned her down and basically I hurt her feelings and all this stuff. I don't know. She ended up just saying a bunch of stuff about her feelings. When in reality, I ended up telling her, hey, ever since the beginning, I said no strings attached. She got super upset and she ended up saying, okay, fine. You know what? You don't want any strings attached? Fine. Just, just go play your video games, Bubba. Go play your video games like every other loser. Okay, is what I said. And I ended up going back inside and going back to class. I remember around lunchtime though, my friends ended up saying how the girl that I ended up doing the devil's tango with and you know the one that basically said i love you ended up basically leaving class early she ended up leaving the school early and said apparently that she had a stomach ache i don't know if that's because i totally turned her down in front of the school but i mean it is what it is i remember i ended up just going throughout my day and then i remember i ended up getting a text message from my mom my mom ended up saying baba the motion sensor went off at home are you home early today i ended up thinking who would be home i was so confused when my mom texted me that and i ended up saying oh no it's probably dad maybe and then she ended up texting me back after school saying oh no your dad's with me at that point i was trying to think who else would be able to enter my door and then I realized there's only one other girl that actually remembers basically where I put my spare key when I go to my house because I had to use it when I invited her over so my parents wouldn't know I brought a chick over. And that was the girl that said, I love you. Now at this point, I remember freaking out. I'm like, oh God, this is not good. So I remember I ended up basically getting my car as fast as I could and getting home as soon as possible. When I got home, I remember I looked around and I basically was seeing how the place was perfectly normal, except the door was already left open. So I remember I ended up looking around and when I looked around, I saw nothing was there. So I ended up going downstairs to my room, my basement that I used to have back when I was younger in high school. And I saw someone took my Xbox One. And not only that, they took my monitor with them. They ended up leaving one of my monitors slanted and there was a note on the desk saying, who do you love more, me or your dumb xbox at that point i was so upset you guys have no idea this girl messed with the wrong man because when a girl messes with me well what can i say you get the alpha male coming out or actually i'm always an alpha male but that's not the point anyways guys that is it for the first part of the story i'm gonna do the next part soon i have a lot of stories that i need to take care of because i know a lot of you guys are saying that you want the next part for me and my crush so i'll make sure to get that to you guys but also like i always say just fall for more embarrassing stories all right peace out guys